This is gonna blow your mind. Get ready to grill the most delicious honey chipotle wings you've ever tasted. Let's dive in. Start by lathering your chicken wings in oil and mixing your chipotle garlic seasoning with cornstarch. The oil helps to ensure that the wings get a nice, even coating of seasoning, while the cornstarch helps to create that perfect, crispy texture when grilled. Make sure to massage the seasoning into the wings thoroughly, so every bite is packed with flavor. This step is crucial because it sets the foundation for the deliciousness that is to come. Take your time and make sure each wing is well coated. Season the wings thoroughly and set them aside. Letting the wings sit for a bit allows the flavors to meld together and penetrate the meat, making them even more flavorful. If you have the time, you can even let them marinate in the fridge for a few hours or overnight. This will make a huge difference in the final taste. While the wings are resting, you can start preparing your grill. Preheat your grill to medium heat around 325 degrees. Getting the temperature right is key to achieving perfectly cooked wings. Too hot, and you risk burning the outside while the inside remains undercooked. Too low, and the wings will take forever to cook and might end up dry. A medium heat of around 325 degrees is just right for getting that beautiful golden brown color and ensuring the wings are cooked through. Use a thermometer to check the temperature and adjust the heat as needed. Add your wings to the grill and cook for 8 to 10 minutes per side until they hit 175 degrees internal. This is where the magic happens. As the wings cook, the fat renders out and the skin gets crispy and delicious. Make sure to keep an eye on them and turn them occasionally to ensure even cooking. You want to achieve a nice char without burning them. The internal temperature of 175 degrees is crucial for ensuring the wings are fully cooked and safe to eat. Use a meat thermometer to check the temperature and avoid any guesswork. Rotate them to avoid any burning. This step is important because it ensures that the wings cook evenly and don't get too charred on one side. Use a pair of tongs to gently turn the wings and move them around the grill as needed. If you notice any hot spots on your grill, you can adjust the placement of the wings to avoid burning. The goal is to get a nice, even cook with a beautiful golden brown color all over. Once they're done, pull them off and keep them warm. You can use a piece of foil to tent the wings and keep them warm while you prepare the sauce. This will help to keep the wings juicy and prevent them from drying out. If you're cooking a large batch, you can keep the wings warm in a low oven while you finish grilling the rest. The key is to keep them warm and juicy until you're ready to toss them in the sauce. Now, pop a cast iron skillet on the grill and crank up the heat to 400F. The cast iron skillet is perfect for making the sauce because it retains heat well and allows for even cooking. Cranking up the heat to 400F will help to get the skillet nice and hot, which is important for caramelizing the ingredients and developing deep, rich flavors. Make sure to use a skillet that is large enough to hold all the ingredients for the sauce. Add all your ingredients for the honey chipotle garlic sauce and let it simmer, stirring until it thickens up. About 10 minutes. The sauce is what takes these wings to the next level. The combination of honey, chipotle, and garlic creates a perfect balance of sweet, smoky, and savory flavors. As the sauce simmers, it will thicken up and become sticky and delicious. Make sure to stir it occasionally to prevent it from burning and to ensure that all the ingredients are well combined. The sauce should be thick enough to coat the back of a spoon. Keep an eye on that heat so the sauce doesn't burn. It's important to monitor the heat and adjust it as needed to prevent the sauce from burning. If the heat is too high, the sauce can quickly go from perfectly caramelized to burnt. Keep stirring and keep an eye on the consistency. You want the sauce to be thick and sticky, but not burnt. If you notice it starting to stick to the bottom of the skillet, you can lower the heat a bit and continue stirring. Once it's ready, let it cool for 10 minutes. Letting the sauce cool for a bit will help it to thicken up even more and make it easier to coat the wings. You can transfer the sauce to a bowl or leave it in the skillet to cool. Just make sure to give it a good stir before tossing the wings in it. The sauce should be thick, sticky, and full of flavor. Toss your wings in that glorious sauce, garnish with chopped parsley, serve, and enjoy. This is the moment you've been waiting for. Toss the wings in the sauce until they are well coated and glistening with that beautiful, sticky glaze. 
The chopped parsley adds a pop of color and a fresh, herbaceous note that complements the rich flavors of the wings. Serve them up hot and watch as your guests devour them with delight. These wings are sure to be the star of your next BBQ. These wings are gonna be the star of your next BBQ. Whether you're hosting a big backyard bash or a small family gathering, these honey chipotle garlic wings are guaranteed to impress. The combination of crispy, juicy wings and a sticky, flavorful sauce is a winning formula that will have everyone coming back for seconds. So fire up the grill, gather your friends and family, and get ready to enjoy some of the best wings you've ever tasted. Happy grilling! Don't forget to like and subscribe.